unaltered. Nawab Muhammad Khan, Jan Fishan, was out walking in Delhi one day when he came upon a number of people seemingly engaged in an altercation. He asked a bystander, What is happening here? The man said, Sublime Highness, one of your disciples is objecting to the behaviour of the people in this quarter. Jan Fishan went into the crowd and said to his follower, Explain yourself. The man said, These people have been hostile. The people exclaimed, That is not true. We were, on the contrary, doing him honour for your sake. What did they say? asked the Nawab. They said, Hail, great scholar. I was telling them that it is the ignorance of scholars which is often responsible for the confusion and desperation of man. Jan Fishan Khan said, It is the conceit of scholars which is responsible quite often for the misery of man, and it is your conceit in claiming to be other than a scholar which is the cause of this tumult. Not to be a scholar which involves detachment from the petty is an accomplishment. Scholars are seldom wise, being only unaltered people stuffed with thoughts and books. These people were trying to honour you. If some people think that mud is gold, if it is their mud, respect it. You are not their teacher. Do you not realise that, in behaving in such a sensitive and self-willed manner, you are acting just like a scholar, and therefore deserve the name, even if it is an epithet? Guard yourself, my child. Too many slips from the path of supreme attainment, and you may become a scholar.